Welcome back everybody to our, I guess, car adventures-ish thing? Motor Town is where we are as the journalist Rachel. Soul of the Machine is also the game called, what's the game also called? I can't even speak English now. Slide, we, in our inventory we have 8 out of 10 slides, fan blades, some fan blades, screwdriver, mirror, brick, 103 weights, and some wire, and a hypnotic scene. Though not in our inventory, but you get the point. Cane. Thermometer. Bushel. No, you're not a bottle. You're something else. Okay, sheet music and boomerang. She music was the first thing I spotted when we got into the scene. Horseshoe, train engine, bird. Horseshoe, train engine, and bird. Horseshoe and train engine. Green engine well in bottle. Now where is this train engine? There it is. Bottle. Oh that was not the bottle. There's the bottle. Gun and pencil. Gem angel and globe. Gem and globe. Dollar bill just hanging around there. <laughs> Gem and the globe. Which we would like to put back in where it belongs over there. Here we go. Protector bulb. Alright, let's go out here. Okay, it's just like a backyard. One mechanical arm. Some stuff. Lee's insignia port. He just walked past there. Awesome. Or someone at least. <gasps> hey, there's another crowbar. Why are you in the trash, Mr. Crowbar? Or Mrs. Crowbar? Slide. Aw, it's still in the trash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. I think we can put... No, no, I'm pretty sure the mirror goes here somewhere. There we go. Alright, let's use all our other stuffs. Not that, though. Let's go into the cafe, I guess. Well, she needs a battery, but... So creepy. Okay. So creepy! Um... Jukebox is missing his play button. Oh yeah, that's gonna make matters a bit difficult, I think. Camping and Cheater Guys to collaborate. Entrepreneur William Cheater Guys and Inventor Paul Camping have signed an agreement whereby Cheater Guys will fund the fame. This is the same text, but a totally different picture. That's kind of weird. Oh, we get all the slides. Uh, I can't see the last three symbols because the paper is burnt, but I think I can manage without them. The ghost in the diner seem harmless. Oh, I didn't even see her ghost. I guess I'm almost collecting articles about Cheater Guys, not camping. Oh! Actually, oh, they had the wrong text, actually. This is what it says. Cheatergeist's investments paid off. Mr. Cheatergeist has purchased every share of the local car plants to become the sole owner of each company. He was once one of several investors in the factories. There we go. Oh, we missed. I missed her now. There she is. Now we saw her ghost, too. Lens... And a play button. Oh, another ghost. So 
Nothing back here. Yes, there is. I need a coin. Lots of coins on this table. I could use one of them. Okay, wait. I need a token. Really? <gasps> Fine. Let's go open the police car instead. Or use the police insignia at least. Whoa, and it's not all we need. We need some more. No! Okay. I've seen something where this wire might go, but I don't rem recall exactly where that was. Aren't we done in the house, though? It feels like we probably are. So where was that puzzle? Uh... Oh, here it was. Yeah. Here's this, yeah. Oh, the annoying sound, though. Oh, a fuse is missing. Oh, that's why. Whew, that was so annoying. Okay. Huh, what do we do with these things? Oh, well, like, oh, maybe we can watch the slides, actually. Maybe we need families, yeah. Here we go. My name is Paul Camping. I have devoted my life to my inventions. My dream has been to develop the next generation of cars. I wanted to make a car, but I wanted it to be more than just a vehicle for transporting people. I wanted it to have a mind and a soul. But my experiments were expensive and unconventional, so no one would invest in me. Regardless, I needed money. Before my big breakthrough, I met Richard Cheatergeist, a rich and powerful man. He agreed to finance my operations. With his money backing my work, I was able to make significant enhancements to several cars. Now all I have to do is iron out a few more wrinkles and the cars will actually be alive. I experimented on a number of cars throughout the city. I don't think anyone will notice the changes. However... <laughs> Cheatergeist has twisted everything I created. He wants to use my technology to create mechanisms that obey only him. I must stop this madman, and the only way to do it is to use my cars. I hope my calculations are correct. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot. This drawing shows how to arrange the weights on the gate. Wow, okay, yeah, that that that's a lot to take in. Well, that that explains the story. Wow. Well, He made living cars, but Cheater Geist wanted to make a sort of army, I guess? Or not army, but like... Well, yeah, I guess. What else would it be? Beings that obey only him? Well, what else would he use it for, really? I don't know. Handbell, moth in Italy. Apparently, I should be able to see Italy. And the handbell, but yeah. There's that, so I don't know where Italy is. Huh. Thimble and coin purse with monies. Oh, I see. Thimble. Ooh. 
Okay, so now it's just Italy left. Could be an outline of the country. It could be the word Italy. It's the outline of the country. Tile. One out of two. All right. I think we're sort of done in the backyard. Uh, hook it onto something. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't realize there was a rope with hook there. Well, that does make things. Slight progression, at least. <laughs> uh, what's up with this super special car then? I need both tiles, though. Right. Oh, I haven't clicked this. Aha. What can I use to break that? My brick. Tobacco. I didn't even know that was a thing. Awesome. Rearrange the tiles to assemble the image. Okay, they don't rotate. That's good news. I am thinking. Okay, that one is correct. Aha. Thank you for locking in. That is awesome. Means that I can actually brute force it if I wanted to. Still be a little smart about it, just a little. Where does this go? It's over there. Ta da! Ooh, a token. A coin. Whoa! Who are you? It's been a long time since someone has been through here. My car is shattered. How could anyone be so barbaric? Please place the mirror where it belongs. Okay. The girl's soul resides in the car? But she looks real. How is that possible? Did camping figure out a way to transfer human souls into cars? Why would she not be real? Oh, here. Thank you for your help. Thanks to Mr. Camping's experiments, I'm immortal. The only problem is, my soul is forever attached to this car. Thank you. I could never repay you for this favor. However, please take my locket. You will find it to be useful. I like that this is like one of the first times where people are like, thanks to someone, I'm immortal. And like, she wants to be it, except that She's tied to a car, but she still sort of wants to be immortal. Ooh, thank you. I need that. Oh! I just need like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 more. So I guess 12 more souls in cars? Okay. Bye! Bye-bye. That was cool. Let's go here. 
No, it's not a token. It's a coin. Drop your stuff, please. I can rearrange my inventory. Ooh. Aw, look at that. Oh, that's what I get. It is a police insignia part. That's pretty good, I think. Oh, okay. I didn't even get to open the car. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hello. Good afternoon, young lady. I'm pleased to meet you. And you should be pleased to meet me. I am one of the most experienced detectives in this city. <coughs> I've seen a lot of fascinating things during my many years as an investigator. <coughs> but the truth is, I'm rather tired of it all. However, I am curious about one thing. Have you ever seen a detective without a pipe? Yes. <coughs> a lot of them. And I'm presuming you don't want to be one of them. Another living car! The detective is hanging out at the car lot as much as he's still alive and working. As though he's still alive and working. I must find camping. I believe he can free these trapped souls. I have tobacco for you. Neither have I. I have seen detectives without their pipes, okay? Ooh, token. <gasps> Fuse! Okay, yeah, well, I will guess I'll find a pipe for you. That all. Um, let's do the token first. To play the jukebox, click on the buttons at the top of the jukebox to select a color, then click on the instrument that should be that color. Repeat this process until each element is in the correct color. The two last ones... What? I remembered the two first ones, but the two last ones were totally, I guess. The loudness of that sudden music. Like what? You know... <laughs> You don't even need to say why you're here. I already know. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We got two. Bye-bye. Thank you. Fuse. Fuse puzzle. Fuse puzzle. Eh, let's do it. If you're quiet. Turn on the bulbs in the correct order. Okay. So... Okay. I see, I see. No, okay, that was wrong. Okay, go, 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 go. Ooh, 50 50. Oh, I'm gonna be wrong. Yes, of course I am. There we go. This is like a brute force puzzle, but they still gave you a lot of the sequence in the beginning, which was cool. Oh. Okay, I don't think that's safe. At all. Okay, hello. Ooh, screwdriver. Do your job. Because you're awesome. You don't really appreciate screwdrivers until you play Hoppa games and it's like it's like one of the best tools in the entire world. Okay. Clue. Uh what are these symbols for? I don't know, but you should hold on to them. 
I guess we can do this now. Oh, I didn't even see that there was already a weight. They have to be in a certain order here. Oh, we have to balance them. I don't know why I started doing this puzzle. I was going to stop recording here. Whoa. Ha! <laughs> um, I think there's actually... Fire there. Moon. Cloud. I'm gonna presume you're fire. You're cloud. Maybe. Interesting. Actually, I guess that could be fire. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, now, now I started doing this puzzle, so whatever. <sighs> Our fish. Um, wait, what? Okay. Oh, the W is here, okay. wrong over there. Oh, the arrow is the wrong way. Like that? No. No, the fish has to be the other way around. That doesn't work. Because no other... What? That's the only way the arrow can be that way. But none of the others gives the fish the right way. Oh. Oh, <sighs> am I doing them? this. Yeah, it should be like this. Uh, maybe? There's no other way I can get the W. That has to be upside down. Ah! What? What? This doesn't make it upside down. You can only get the W in two places. Oh, 
was supposed to be upside down the other way around. Which doesn't work. What? Why is this impossible? Drats, I accidentally did it. I'm sorry. Um, so what I did was this side, I did on the left side, just as I did it before. It's just that the arrow was the other way. These two were right, and these I did upside down on the right side with this one in the middle, this one up, but upside down, and this one upside down there, and it worked. It was like too easy or something, I don't know. Um, really sorry I missed, it, it went so fast when I had a solution that I didn't have time to click, but I hope that sort of gives you an idea, but it's really like, don't pay attention to if it's upside down or not. Just put them in. <laughs> just that this one will be like here and this one will be here. But it's just, just, just put them in. Don't care about if they're the right, you know, pointing at the right direction or anything. <laughs> Alright, and with that, we're way over time. So, like, uh, I'll see you guys later for more motor time. Blah, I can't, no, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. Just, bye.